Check it out. Non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. What? Oh, um, whew, that's a relief. Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. Someone's ripped the trees out of this painting. They were looking at me. You ripped the trees out of this painting, too? No, that one was ripped when I bought it. Wear and tear are part of the charm of a vintage item. feeling I might regret this. Murderer! Axe-wheeling psychopath! Right here! Shh, shh, shh! You'll wake up the other trees! She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! Okay, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! Ow! My trunk! I'm losing sap! Murderer! Please don't scream anymore. You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole forest! I'm here on behalf of Curtis, the lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce, mining her own branches, then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. Say it! What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He... he butchered her! Turned her into a... a stool! Oh, oh god, I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren! It makes me sick! Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchatra? Is that all you humans think about? Killing? You all make me want to puke. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. Want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up, but I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, ruthless stump. It's empty. Oh, and now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that... mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood... <laughs> ...to get to the tender stuff inside... <laughs> ...then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath. <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. <laughs> oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, ruthless stump.
This stuff is like love potion for seagulls. <laughs> uh, gross, Drusilla. Don't you think I can smell that? Okay, this time it really wasn't me. I'm going to help. Do something! What can she do? We're just too attractive to animals. We took it too far, Drusilla. Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great. Ow! Great idea. What about me? Ow! I exude it naturally. She has to save whom she can. Ow! I'll tell Mom Chopra about you, Drusilla. Shh! Here she comes again. Hmm. Firm. And pungent. Check it out. Fruit. No thanks. These are our only rows. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit. With a pit inside. Oh my god. It's so simple. Why didn't we get that? Oh man, that's been bugging us all day. But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. I'm going in. Okay. Such strange shapes in here. Guess this is where they buried their old god. It's that same religious symbol. But this one is recessed, like a socket. found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, give me this, give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. Are you the dead I god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, God. Were you really dead? No, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Part of the reason I went into chrysolation, to tell you the truth. Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... Uh, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm gonna need to fix more wiring before I can even gain access to it. What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. 
Who knows if it's even still there. What's all this equipment do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. Varuna was dying. The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Okay, see you later. Uh-huh. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. Ooh, pretty colors. Whoops. Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry, I'll get a new one. Uh, don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam for that. There. Good as new. Actually, that's not bad. And you even got it in the right slot. The top socket is empty. Yeah, because you stole my laser coil, and you'd better put it back. On second thought, I don't like it there. Hey, what are you doing? I found a replacement for your quartz thing. Maybe, but you put it in the wrong socket. You get that order wrong, and you'll melt us down into a sad little puddle. What have you done? Uh, fixed your ship? You put the amplifying quartz after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but that would only produce a powerful weaponized... Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. Yay! And I told Becky, you're so ugly, <laughs> I'm glad I'm blind. <laughs> okay, the targeting iris has 300 years of rust on it, but it should do the trick. I'll try to lure him into a good spot. You can fire the weapon with this remote trigger. Like this? Okay, shut it down. Just use quick bursts or that hacked circuit of yours will cause a meltdown up here. I'm not sure how to thank you for this. You know what? The whole time I was on that spaceship, all I really wanted was to be as useful as I feel right now. Well, wish me luck. Hey, if you're really from steel bunting, I'm sure you're not going to need it. Yeah. After you took that beast hooker away, they eventually left us alone. Thank you so much, non-maiden. See you maidens later. Ciao! Nice inversion, Clarence. Oh, man. <coughs> the things monsters go for these days. Marshal Deer? Mm -hmm. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Oh, my, oh, my. Now that is how you attract a monster. You are in, my girl. My compliments to your grandmother. Truly monstrous. Now, if there only was going to be a Maiden's Feast. How about now? Is the construction coming along better? Ah, uh, the sand is falling apart, and so am I. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Here, this will make your sand mixture stick together better. Really? How do you know? I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. At this point, I'd try anything. Hey, Clarence, bring that load down here, will you? 
I hope you're right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Shh. Let's watch. Here comes a wave. I can't look. What'd I tell you? Now that's a sandcastle. Looks like we're in business. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! You know what to do, girls. Thank you. 